Hey guys, I'm Shahan from Scar Studios. So today I'm going to show you guys the process behind how I created this IG-11 model from my short film The Guardian, a Star Wars fan film. Most of it is still under production but you can check the trailer in my channel and also I have some cool satisfying animation tutorials that you might like in my channel as well so make sure you smash that subscribe button. With that said, I'll be doing a behind the scenes video from the short film as well and uh, let me know in the comments below whether you guys want me to do more videos like this or whether you guys want me to do more uh, animation loop kind of videos that I do usually so make sure you guys let me know in the comments below about that and let's get on with the video so before starting any of my projects I go online and do some research on what I'm doing I try to learn more about the character itself when it was first featured and uh, what are his special features I mean, most of us have watched all the Star Wars movies, the Clone Wars, Rebels and stuff, if you're a Star Wars fan of course, but it's always better to do a full background check before starting your project. So once I was done with the research, I went on Pinterest and ArtStation to see what other artists have done with the character that I might want to add into my work. And I needed to find some good call to reference images to get the precise detail right. And also I needed a blueprint of the character so that I can model it on top of that because we are modeling a character based on a design that already exists and I wanted to get close to the original model as possible. And most of the blueprints I found were for 3D printing but what I wanted was the real thing so I made it an excuse to watch The Mandalorian again and took some screenshots of the textures and the form of the model and also tried to get an idea on how the characters move so that when it comes to the animation stage it'll be a lot easier and then I put all the screenshots into Pure in a second monitor when I started modeling and also this is Angel when she's hungry no matter what I'm doing uh, you gotta stop your work and feed her first so there you go once I had everything ready and my mind cleared it's time to start modeling so I started with the head started with one word and a screw modifier to get the basic shape I have a time-lapse video of how I modeled his head in my channel you can check it out there and um, it was all basic modeling no add-on and it took me around one and a half days to finish the whole model and I moved on to texturing so before you do your textures make sure you get some good seams in your mesh and do a good unwrap to get cool results so I was planning to texture this guy in Substance Painter because I was going for realism and Substance allowed me to do that pretty quickly. Plus I'm not working with a lot of time here so I had to finish the whole character in 4 days minimum. So I took a lot of time to get my seams right and I imported the model in parts into Substance because I wanted to get the details perfect in all the parts. And the best thing about Substance Painter is the smart materials. Once you learn how to use them, you can get some amazing results pretty quickly. And uh, if you haven't used Substance before, trust me, it's not that complicated. If you have used Photoshop before, you can get the hang of it pretty quickly. And uh, just watch a few tutorials and uh, get into it, it's amazing. And then I took a small coffee break. And if you're some kind of a designer making YouTube videos, make sure you record the process of you making coffee and drinking coffee. It's the key to a great video, trust me. So while I was having my coffee, it hit me. What if I made my own Star Wars YouTube animated short film kind of thing? Yeah, I should do that. Anyways, for the rigging, I used the Rigify add-on and used the human rig. Adjusted it according to the model. That means adding a few more head bones because we have a lot of different rotating parts in the head model and the fingers of course I had to add that as well and the only other thing I did was adding some bone con constraints to get the IK working in the leg and uh, that's it because I was in a huge rush I didn't really add bone shapes to the model plus the bones are pretty straightforward so if you have used blender before you can get the hang of it pretty quickly and also before you start doing anything it's always important to do your rig test and check all your bones that they're working the way you want them to work and try out some test animation before you move on to the next phase of your character and also check for the bone connections whether you have parented the bones correctly so since I just extruded the bones that were already parented the rigify human rig it didn't really take a lot of time I just had to place the bones in the right places and voila 
catcher was done and rigged. I just uploaded it in HDRI to get some cool lighting and uh, it was ready for animation. So that's it for this video you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do more tutorials or more breakdown videos like this in the future or whether you guys want me to do more satisfying video animation tutorials. So if you're new here make sure you subscribe to this channel and leave a like, comment and also watch some of my older videos in the channel and see you guys in the next one. Bye!